Hello staff, this is Mr. Hernandez, and today I want to explain to you how to use the redirect tool in Canvas. The redirect tool is used to go to external websites in your Canvas page and or to go to other pages within your Canvas page so that way you can navigate uh, easier and organize your content on Canvas easier. So the first example I want to do is show you how to add an external link to your Canvas page. This external link will be placed on your course navigation bar, the white area here on the left-hand side. For our example today, I am using my sandbox. You, of course, um, try it out in your Canvas course. Maybe practice on your sandbox before you go, but um, here it is. So first things first, we want to go to settings down at the bottom, okay? From settings, we wanna make sure we click on apps here. Mine was already selected, but here we click on apps, do a search, redirect, okay, here it is. We select it. Now here's the thing. Before I click add app here, we're going to click this here in a second. We want to make sure you have your website already. You want to copy the website address. So I'm going to go up here. I have this ready for myself. I'm going to click on my tab. And for this example, I'm going to use the LCPS Canvas help page. So I'm going to copy that whole address. I'm going to come back to my Canvas page. I'm going to select Add App right here. Okay. And now we want to customize. So we're going to click in the top box. And so for this example, let's call it LCPS Canvas help. Down here, this is where we want to paste that address. So you're pasting whatever website uh, it is that you want to copy. Now we have a couple more settings here to choose. So you can play around with this first setting and see what works best for you. But if you leave it checked, um, when anyone selects this uh, link, they will then open up a new tab in their uh, web browser. Okay. Usually, just like it says here for external links only, usually um, this is best to leave alone, leave checked for websites that will direct you away from Canvas. Some websites do work very well where if I uncheck this, it'll open up in a new um, area within your Canvas course. Okay. For this example, I'm going to leave it off. All right. In my next example, I'll probably do this check it off, but you'll see why. But for this example, for external link, I'll leave that checked. I'm going to select show in course navigation. What this means is that on the left hand side, it's going to appear there. We won't worry about account navigation and user navigation. Those are other settings. Account usually deals with admin stuff and user navigation will deal with your account profile. We, we won't mess with those for this example. So add app, click. Let's go back to our home page. It'll help refresh Canvas. And then let's scroll down. And down here on the bottom, we see that new link. Now, for those of you who don't want it down there, right? Most of us will want to put it up. And this is a brief refresher. We can click on settings. Let's click on uh, navigation. And let's just make sure that it's there. Okay, well, it showing um, in the correct area for this purpose maybe for right now it's just showing up down there but in student view your students should see it closer to the top so I'll leave that alone it won't be too much of a problem so let me go back to home and to test out our link let's click on it you'll see that it opens up this window here that says open a new tab and we will select that open a new tab and just like that it opened up on a new tab on top of my web browser there. Okay. So let me exit out of these. That is the, and let me return to home. So that's the first method of using an external link to add it as a course navigation link button on your course navigation panel, the sidebar here. Now, what if we want to create another page within your canvas, an original creation of yours, however you do it, get it and you want to place it right here. 
right? This is a great useful uh, method, especially if your homepage might be cluttered, might be a little bit too dense. There's so much information. You just want to clean it up, get things organized. This is a great way to organize and you can place it on the left hand side. Before we go to the redirect tool again, we need to click on pages. So I'm going to pages. I'm going to go to view all pages and I'm going to create the page. Press the plus sign for create the page. For this example, I'm just going to name it practice page. And again, for this example, I'm just going to make it basic and go to my picture options here. And I'm going to add a picture <laughs> from my collection just for fun. Um, what's useful with this is Again, this helps clear the cutter, clutter of your Canvas page. Maybe you have um, certain things you want to organize better. You want to uh, condense, right? Um, this is one great way where you can make a page dedicated to whatever topic, material, and for information that you want. And then the students can go to this page and then branch off into other things, all right? So for this example, I'm just leaving it as is, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to press Save. And if this was a real live course, we would also press publish. So for um, I won't for this example for right now, but um, in your classes, you definitely want to make sure you press publish. OK, so that when people when students go to that link, it um, the link is active. The page is active. Correct. All right. Now, before we go to redirect, we um, so we have our page here. Here's our information that we just made. Now, we have to copy the address on top right here okay I'm going to select all and select copy I did my hotkeys on the keyboard control C on my PC you could very well hit right click and copy either way but now we have to go to the redirect tool because right now we created this page and no one's gonna get to it because it's just out in the middle of nowhere in our canvas course page so let's go to settings Okay, let's go to app, let's go to redirect, let's click it, let's call, uh, click on add app again. For this example, I'm calling it practice page. And remember what I said a while ago, before we got to this redirect app settings again, we had made sure that we copied that uh, address from the page we just created within our canvas, all right? We're going to select the space there. We're going to paste that URL. For this example, I'm going to deselect the force open a new tab because this I want them to stay in Canvas. OK, and then I'm going to select show in course navigation. Leaving the other ones blank, I'm going to press add app. OK, and let's click on home so that the whole page refreshes. And so if you see down below, there is my brand new page within Canvas. And so to test it out, let's click on it. You saw briefly that little rectangle, blue rectangle that said redirect because that's what it's doing. It's redirecting, right? Um, and But here it is, okay? So here is my practice page. And so again, a great way to condense, create collections, gather things into topic pages, information pages, resources pages, whatever you can think of, be creative. But um, I think this is a great way to, um, to uh, enhance your Canvas course page, right? And so there you have it. Let me go back to home. I hope you enjoyed this video. I showed you how to use the redirect tool to add an external link onto your course navigation bar here. We link to an external website. Again, my example was the LCPS Canvas help page. But then I also showed you how to create a brand new page. Um, I just did some practice content, right? And then we added that Canvas page as a link here on our course navigation bar. All right, staff, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.